Are you being shortchanged? Well, we're going to talk about that coming up. Stay tuned. Welcome back to an all new edition of the Sunday Night Sit Down with America's number one money couple. I'm Tyler. And I'm Ty, and we're from hisandhermoney.com, where we're managing money, marriage, and everything in between. The Sunday Night Sit Down is being brought to you by Credit Sesame. Does your credit score have you down and looking for solutions? You may just find the answers you're looking for with Credit Sesame. Credit Sesame is your solution for a free no-hassle credit score, credit analysis, and tips for managing your money. They are here to help you take control of and have the tools you need to bring about a bright financial future. Get empowered today. There's no credit card required. Receive identity theft protection up to $50,000 and discover a marketplace for credit and loan officers that will help you get to your next level. Visit hisandhermoney.com forward slash credit sesame for more details. All right, guys. Well, it's a little time for a story, a true story. Okay. So I was recently shopping um, in a store and I'm just going to say the name of the store. That's okay, right? Go for it. Old Navy. Okay. And I was shopping at Old Navy because I needed some shorts and things like that, you know, for a little trip. So... Um, while I was in the store, I saw a few dresses that kind of caught my attention. So I purchased them, but I purchased one of them that was not in my size, okay? So I knew that I was going to take it to another location, exchange it for the correct size, and voila, I'm good. So I did just that. I went to another location, and I exchanged the dress for the size that I actually needed. So when I went up to the counter, the taxes are different um, at that particular location from the location that I originally purchased the dress from. So instead of the young lady, I'm assuming doing like an even exchange, I don't really understand the system, but she adjusted the price down so I wouldn't have to pay um, any extra tax because I was just doing an even exchange for a different size. So I thought, okay, no problem. I like the dress anyway. Hey, we're good. Took my little dress, went home, tried it on. And guess what, guys? It just didn't work, okay? So I'm like, I need to take this dress back. So I went to the original location where I purchased the dress from, did the return, and before I did the return, I prompted to tell the cashier, you know, what happened. So you're going to see the different prices, but the young lady adjusted the price so I wouldn't have to pay the tax different, but you can really see how much I paid for the dress. Now, I paid 13 cents more for the dress, and I know some of you guys are saying, okay, this store is all over 13 cents, and yes, it is. So just hold on. I'm getting there, guys. <laughs> so I told her the situation. She said, okay, I get it now. Let me go ahead and fix it. So she proceeded to do the exchange, and before she gave me my receipt, I told her, I said, okay, you corrected it, correct, right? You are giving me back how much I paid for the dress. She said yes. So when I took the receipt, um, I was walking away, and I could tell that she seemed a little nervous. Maybe she was wondering if I was going to look at the receipt, and sure enough, I looked at the receipt, and guess what, guys? They didn't give me my 13 cents, okay? So I walked right back in the line, and she says, uh, can I help you? And I said, yes, you had me walking away thinking that you actually corrected the price um, and gave me how much I paid for it. And I said, I know, ma'am, this is over 13 cents, and that's not necessarily a lot of money, but I want my 13 cents. You know, because I had a quick thought while I was there, like, this store is rich, okay? <laughs> off of 13 cents. Balling. Okay? Balling <laughs> off of people's pennies. And I thought about it, I said, okay, if I would have originally made the purchase and I didn't have 13 cents to cover my tax or whatever, they wouldn't let me walk out of the store with that particular item. They're going to say, ma'am, I need 13 cents, right? So they weren't going to let me walk out of the store, so I wasn't going to walk out of the store without my money, <laughs> needless to say. And I saw people in the line looking and everything, and for a minute I was like, okay, Ty, it's no big deal. It's just 13 cents. Just walk out the, you know, walk out the store. And I'm like, no, it's the principle of the thing. And I literally considered and thought about my family. I said, okay, I can take this 13 cents no matter how small it is, and guess what? I can use it to build wealth. I can invest in my kids' college fund. I can even continue to pay off our mortgage. Regardless, it's still money. So the district manager came over, and you know what, guys? She was extremely nice. I, didn't, I barely even had to tell her my story. Mm. She said, ma'am, for your inconvenience, we're going to give you $5 that you can come back and spend at the store whenever you like. I'm like, that's customer service. <laughs> that is customer service. I wish I could remember her name. I think her name was Chandra. So if you're listening, you are the DM of the year, okay? <laughs> and I told her, I said, you know, ma'am, thank you so much for giving me great customer service. It wasn't necessarily about the 13 cents, I told her, and she stopped me. She said, no, it's for your inconvenience. And I'm like, I walked out of the store empowered, and I knew that I wanted to share this story with you all to 
you know, just start to spark some conversations going on in your home. You know, are you overlooking your change? You know what? Are you overlooking your change? So if that means that you're not counting your pennies or maybe your quarters and things like that because you're like, it doesn't count, it all counts. Here's the deal, guys. It's all about discipline. Discipline. Don't miss the principle here. On His and Her Money, we are trying to take you guys from where you are currently financially to where you want to be. And that's going to require a change in that's your right. mentality. That's going to require a change in your habits. You guys are going to have to look at every penny as though it is a hundred yeah. million dollars because <laughs> you all have financial goals that you want to attain yeah. and every little bit counts. And it's not so much about 13 cents. Mm -mm. It's a, the principle, like my wife said, because guess what? If you aren't paying attention to your bank accounts, there are some 50 cent charges. There's some yep. dollar charges. The banks are literally making billions of dollars billions. off of fees that you're not paying attention to. Mm -hmm. And if you don't build up the discipline to always be on top of where every penny of your money goes, because guess what? You worked hard for that money. Mm -hmm. So it is up to you to discipline yourself to take care of every aspect of your personal finance, whether it's 13 cents $1,300, $13,000. You have right. to have the same level of discipline if you really, truly want to achieve financial freedom. That's right. Well, guys, we hope you enjoyed this story. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Leave us a comment in the comment section below letting us know if you overlook certain, you know, bills and certain uh, fees and things like that, then maybe you can grab a hold of that and say, you know what, let me try to cut some of these fees and let me count my change. We want to hear from you. Don't forget, check us out over at our website at hisandhermoney.com and meet us back here next Sunday night at 7 p.m. Central Standard Time where you will see the both of us sharing with you. And if you haven't done so, pick up our book, Money Talks, The Ultimate Couple's Guide to communicating about money. Also, we have an awesome course called Teach Me How to Budget, where we help you learn the principles of tracking your spending and tracking your money so that you can achieve financial freedom. You'll find links to all of those in the comments section below. If you're watching us on Facebook, give us a thumbs up and share this. And if you're watching us on YouTube, don't forget to subscribe yes, and comment. This is all we got for this time, guys. It's been great. It's time to count your change. Until next time. Bye. Peace.